Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Excel 2016 and how to use Goal Seek to perform what if analysis. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to see here is this is uh, the spreadsheet that I've created. It's called Morgan's Paint and basically I'm going to be looking at my different types of paint which are right over here in column A and these are the different colors of paint and this is the revenue sources. I put in my current revenue as well as my goal revenue. Alright well let's say we're looking at these different paint sources and we see alright well we want to make three hundred thousand dollars this year. Alright well if I want to make three hundred thousand dollars one or more of these numbers will have to change. So let's say that I'm looking through my paint and I say, hey, you know what? I think we could sell more red paint. Okay, so I take a look at my red paint and I say, how much do I need to increase my sales in red paint in order to make this number 300,000? Well, we could do that by using Goal Seek, and that's basically what if analysis in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to select the cell that you want to be changed. All right, so this cell is going to change to 300,000 because that's our new goal. Again, you select the cell that contains the goal. Then what I do is I go up here to the data tab, which is right up here, the data tab, and I click on that. And then I go over here to the forecast group and there's a button right here called what if analysis. Try out various values for the formulas in your sheet using scenario manager, goal seek, and data tables. Right now we're going to click on that and use goal seek. When you click goal seek, it's going to open up a goal seek dialog box and you'll see right here it says set cell C10. That's because this is the cell that I pre-selected as the cell that is going to be my goal. All right, well, I want that cell to change to, again, my goal was 300,000. 300000. Zero, 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 zero. All right, so now I can decide which cell I want to change. So I first click right here where it says by changing cell. And again, I said I was going to sell more red paint in order to make that happen. So I click right here on the cell for red paint. It says uh, C5 and as an absolute. And I say, all right, that's perfect right there. And then I click OK. Now check out what happens now. I click OK, and now what it says is goal seeking with cell C10 found a solution. Target value, uh, 300,000. Current value, 300,000. So this right here is 300,000 now, and this is now 83,000. So I click OK, and now I know that I have to sell $83,000 worth of red paint in order to uh, bring my goal up to 300,000. So again, I'll do a Control Z so that you could see before. Before it looked like this, and this was 55,000 would bring me to 272. After I ran the goal seek, you can see it jumped up to 83,000 to again hit our goal of 300,000 in total revenue. So I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you learn a little bit more about goal seek in Microsoft Excel and how to use uh, the forecast group and what if analysis. So again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I have a full set of Microsoft Excel videos, and I'll make sure that those are posted here at the end. If you have any comments, please let them uh, write it below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.